Hi, after seeing the properties of addition of whole numbers, the closure, commutative and associative property of addition. In this video, let us understand the properties of multiplication of whole numbers. So in this video, we will be covering the closure property of multiplication, the commutative law of multiplication, associative law of multiplication and the multiplicative identity. Let us look at these properties one at a time. The property of multiplication of whole numbers says that if a whole number is multiplied to another whole number, then the result or the product is also or is always a whole number. And so the closure property holds good for multiplication. Let us see. If we have a whole number A, A when multiplied to another whole number B, we get the product as C. So the closure property says that if A is a whole number, B is a whole number and if we multiply the two whole numbers, the resultant C will also be whole number. Let us take an example. Let the a b 4, b b 2, okay, and a times b is equal to 4 times 2, which gives us an 8. So, 4 is a whole number, 2 is a whole number, and the product 8 is also a whole number, and hence closure property holds good for multiplication of whole numbers. Let us look at the next property that is the commutative law of multiplication of whole numbers. The commutative law of multiplication says that if we have two whole numbers A and B, then A multiplied to B or A times B is same as B times A. Let us take an example. If A is 7 and B is 3, then A times B is 7 times 3 which is 21. And B times A is 3 times 7 which is 21 again. So we see that A times B is same as B times A and the order does not matter while multiplying the whole numbers. And this is called the commutative law of multiplication of whole numbers. I hope the commutative law is clear to everyone. The next property is the associative property. We have learned the same property for addition and now we will see how this property works for multiplication. The property says that if you have three whole numbers A, B and C. So if you are trying to associate A and B first, you are trying to find the product of A and B first. And this product is then multiplied to a third number C. Or if we try to find the product of B and C and multiply this product to A, we see that both of them yields the same result. This is the associative law of multiplication. Let us learn this through an example. Let A be 4, B be 3 and C be 5. So, A times B times C. We will first perform the product of A and B, 4 into 3, which gives us a 12. And later multiply it by 5. So, 12 times 5 gives you a 60. We will perform the operation A times B times C with the same values of A, B and C. So, we will first perform the multiplication of B and C which is 3 times 5. So, the product is 15 and this 15 will be multiplied 4 and 4 times 15 again give you a 60. So, we see that A times B and whole times C is same as A times B times C and this is called the associative law of multiplication of whole numbers. 
please please remember that the closure property the commutative property and the associative property do not hold good for division it's not necessary that when you divide two whole numbers you get a whole number as your answer if you divide 5 by 2 you might get a 2.5 which is not a whole number and similarly we will see that the commutative and the associative properties also does not hold good for the division one last property which i want to discuss in this video is the existence of multiplicative identity for whole numbers let us try to understand this property multiplicative identity means on multiplication we get the identical number in additive identity we were trying to add the numbers to get the identical number in multiplicative identity you will try to multiply a number with another number such that the result is the identical number let us take an example suppose you have 5 so 5 needs to be multiplied by some number such that the result is an identical number 5 needs to be multiplied to such a number such that the result is identical to 5 and that is 1 10 needs to be multiplied to such a number that the result is the identical number 10 so 10 times 1 gives you a 10 multiplicative multiplicative identity is always equal to the number one. the number 1 is called the multiplicative identity because when we multiply any number by one the result or the product which we get is identical to the first number okay i hope the multiplicative identity is clear to everyone and there is one very important uh, property of zero which is called the multiplicative property of zero that when any number is multiplied to 0 the result is always a 0 5 times 0 gives you a 0 7 times 0 gives you a 0 correct so that is called the multiplicative property of the number 0 i hope all these properties are very clear to you in our next video we will cover one more property of multiplication of whole numbers which is the uh, distributive property of multiplication if you have any doubts regarding these properties you can send me an email at keerthi.mathacademy@gmail.com this is my youtube channel math academy if you have liked my videos please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you